Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. Solana is currently still moving in a sideways range. We haven't seen any significant breakout there and the price is still holding, as you can see there on the chart, in this range. Okay, so still above support, $119 below resistance, which is the $159.40 level. I mean, I call that a breakout line, which is why it's in green. Okay, so it's basically our our breakout point to the upside, which would make more directly bullish scenarios um, possible, you know, more likely opens the door for a larger B wave or something more bullish. But really, that needs to be broken in order to, let's say, entertain that idea more seriously that something more bullish is here unfolding. Yeah? Um, until then, the market is just moving sideways and price action in these ranges, as I said, it is pretty meaningless generally. Um, we are moving in a sideways possible triangle. Okay, let's talk about these structures. First of all, the idea is that a larger degree third wave finished. I mean, that's the thesis that is sort of guiding these micro patterns and structures that we're tracking. We only see corrective movements at the moment on this level. Um, I think if we get into this lower support region, that could be pretty interesting from a reward to risk point of view and could be pretty interesting for anybody who's looking for also um, let's say positions for the next rally to the upside. So we have here an A wave down. Okay, so this could be a B wave rally. There are different ways how this B wave could unfold and therefore we have a few different micro structures here. And then if we see a C wave to the downside from here, then this would complete the correction possibly in, in the $90 region, but that have, has to be refined as soon as we have a confirmed top in place, then we can calculate a, a target. At the moment, this is just support, which doesn't mean which doesn't mean we have to get there. It's just support. Okay, so as long as the price is holding above it, the overall idea of one more high in wave five is pretty much valid. Okay, so we are still bullish on Solana. Just definitely allows for another low into this orange support region, which might mean you know for investors, swing traders, it might be interesting to look for that to, to keep it on the watch list, maybe to keep some funds aside in case Solana does dip into that support region. Um, looking at the shorter time frame patterns, then I haven't got any confirmation that this C wave to the downside has started. The move down, the move down so far from the recent high was just in three waves. We're just consolidating. It's possible that this was the A wave. I mean, that's the main thesis of wave four. Um, this here could, for example, be a triangle. Yeah, B waves can be triangles, A, B, C, D, E, one more lower high and then break down. But triangles typically break with quite a lot of downside momentum in this case. Yeah, And it takes a break below 119 to confirm that. Um, it's possible the B wave already finished, but then it would need to show it uh, with a bit of downside momentum. So we haven't got that. And there is a potential for an extended B wave or even something more bullish from here. But for something more bullish, <laughs> let's just see if we can break out to the upset. And for the for the extended B wave, I also need to see that it's holding 119 and then break above 159.40. I mean, these are all the parameters we can watch. Uh, what we can do though is, um, okay, if we get an extended, if we get an extended B wave, yeah, I can't even give you a target because I haven't got any low in place. So once I have this one, two set up, yeah, then we can define, okay, what would be a target for the third, the fourth and the fifth in, in a C wave in wave B. Okay, so actually I would need to put on here A, B. Yeah, I would need to put another wave C on here in orange because that would be a five wave move. Okay, that would basically be an extended. But hey, there are many options for transforming the wave counts here. Yeah, I could probably give you five to six wave counts. But what's important is um, the, the, the counts don't really matter in these corrections. Okay, so I could also take them out. It doesn't, it really doesn't matter. The main support region is what matters. Against this, we can focus on higher, the closer we get to it, or even the deeper we dip into it, the better the reward to risk ratio to the upside while maintaining an overall bullish scenario. Uh, we have two breakout points up and down. And the question is not if it goes up or down, but do you have a plan for each scenario? That's always important. Yeah. Um, at the moment, I think the the risk, I shouldn't say the risk, the chance is quite high for an upside breakout and for an extended B wave. So that because so far this B wave, what it's done was quite weak. 
Now you can always extend further sideways and corrections can happen over time or over price. And if it's happening over time, yeah, we might not see a strong B wave as such. It might just take a while to play out and then come down in wave C. So yeah, but can I say, I wish I had something new to say. I haven't really said anything new for the last week or so because yeah, there isn't really anything new. Unfortunately, I could highlight here. The levels are clear. The levels are being respected. Essentially, that's what we, what, what is important. Um, but we need to see a signal. The market needs to give us a signal. The market at the moment doesn't seem to have any idea what it wants to do. So yeah, I, I'm still I'm still gonna be here. Okay, I'm still gonna make the videos. That's my update about Solana. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.